Hello everyone. My name is Mikeda, also known as The Body Scientist, and welcome to my YouTube video. Um, in case you don't know, a little bit about my background. I am an NSCA certified strength and conditioning specialist. I'm an ACE certified personal trainer, a USAW certified Olympic weightlifting coach. Um, I'm an X-Pole and Elevated certified pole dance instructor. And um, I'm a sports nutritionist certified by the ISSN. So, and my undergraduate degree was in exercise and sports science with a concentration on strength and conditioning and um, sports nutrition. And then I did two years of graduate school at, applied, um, at Columbia in applied physiology and nutrition. Um, and I've been training people and advising people for at least 13 years now, um, working in the fitness industry. And so this video, um, you know, is about Herbalife, okay? Um, I take what I do very seriously. Um, I never, I never want to be responsible for recommending something to someone that causes them harm, okay? So all healthcare practitioners, I feel like, need to be very careful and do very good research if they want to take on the responsibility of advising people. Because when our clients come to us, you know, they're coming to us to, be, to become better. They may already have existing imbalances or issues, and so they're coming to us to help them fix it or, and or prevent it. So I don't ever want to be responsible for giving somebody physical exercise or dietary recommendation that causes them to go downhill, okay? Um, so having a background in academia, I understand the importance of reading studies. And because I do have a background in nutritional biochemistry, which um, despite what many may think, nutrition is all chemistry. And it is important to have a background in chemistry, specifically nutrition, but nutritional biochemistry, if you want to call yourself a nutritionist and advise people, okay? Because even if you believe in traditional ways, which is um, very much what I'm about, traditional foods, not paleo, but traditional foods, um, and you can check out my other videos where I, I talk about those things, um, but also the fact that we're dealing with modern day chemicals, supplements and, you know, um, different things that are being put into food, it's important to understand chemistry, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to say that I do not at all respect trainers and healthcare so-called professionals um, that recommend Herbalife, okay? This Herbalife thing has gone way too out of hand. Now, I personally do not associate much with people in my field because if you go to the Instagram pages of most trainers or Facebook pages or websites or whatever, and most people who are in fitness, they're eating a whole bunch of low-fat stuff. They all have protein powders and shakes. They may have fat burners. Um, they're eating egg whites and skinless chicken breasts with no fat, so-called lean meats, and they advise everybody to eat this way, okay? And let me just say one thing about the fitness industry is that just because people look good does not mean that they're healthy, nor does it mean they know what the fuck they're talking about, okay? Um, seriously, there's a lot of people in this industry who look great who um, are not very healthy and are not giving you good advice, all right? And who are not taking it seriously um, and not taking it upon themselves to actually do research on what they are recommending. So um, this is also the reason why I, I never jumped on the vegan bandwagon. You know, I researched this from many perspectives for years before I formed a strong opinion. And from all the different things I've seen, I've never been convinced of that veganism was a good idea for anyone. And as a trainer and nutritionist, I can't tell you the amount of clients I've had who have come to me after they've damaged themselves, both male and female, from being on a vegan diet, okay? Lost their body, their shape, women who lose their ass, you know, they lose their muscle tone, have serious hormonal imbalances. Um, I've seen women have children, you know, being pregnant on a vegan diet and feeding their children like that, and their sons especially have issues. Um, so I just wouldn't recommend that. I recommend what has been shown to work over generations. I'm not going to get too much into that in this video because it's not a topic of this video. But you can check out my other YouTube videos where I go more in depth into that. Now, this whole Herbalife thing is total bullshit, okay? Everything about it is bullshit. Herbalife is not a health food, okay? It is terribly bad for you. And you have to understand how to read ingredients, okay? Not looking at the cover of a, a product and what it says it can do for you and how it says natural and all this nonsense, okay? And all the vitamins it has. Look at the ingredients list, okay? But of course, if you don't have a background in, bio, in nutritional biochemistry, you may miss a lot of things. 
So going down a long list of things that are wrong with Herbalife, okay? For one, its main base is soy protein isolate, which of course is coming from a GMO because soy is the most genetically modified um, plant in, in, in the planet, on the planet, okay? So it's a GMO soy. Soy causes so many problems, hormonal problems in men and women, okay? And it's soy protein isolate, which means that a high temperature was used to extract that protein. And when that high temperature is used, it denatures the protein. It actually makes it very toxic. The other thing wrong with it is that soy protein isolate, which most people don't know, is that MSG is added to soy protein isolate. So anything that you see that says soy protein isolate has MSG in it. You can assume that for sure, okay? Um... And soy protein is a shitty ass protein anyway, okay? So, you have all those issues with the soy protein isolate. It causes lots of problems, hormonal issues, imbalances, stuff like that, okay? Um, sex related cancers. Then, there's canola oil in Herbalife. Canola oil has been s shown to cause serious damage to the brain, it's highly pro inflammatory. And you can do your research, there's tons of books and articles and stuff that has been written on the toxic properties of canola oil and rancid vegetable oils, period. So that, it consumed, that um, includes soybean oil and corn oil and safflower oil. All that shit is not good. It's very highly inflammatory. But canola oil in particular has been shown to cause brain lesions, holes in the brain, um, issues uh, with people losing their eyesight. But it's highly inflammatory and seriously cancer-causing. It's nothing, nothing at all healthy about canola oil. And if you thought that it was healthy, do your research, okay? I have a video on YouTube called All About Fats where I get into depth about the chemistry of fats and you can understand better why I'm saying canola oil is so toxic, because it definitely is, and there's no debate about that. The other issue with um, Herbalife is all the fake vitamins in it, okay? And iron. Iron as a supplement should never be taken. Iron should only be, got, get, um, should be gotten from the food. You should only get iron from food. When you take iron as a supplement, it's in a very toxic form that, number one, causes and increases the uh, proliferation of bad bacteria in your gut, okay? So it really gives, it feeds the bad bacteria in your gut, which then feeds a condition called intestinal dysbiosis, which most people in the U.S. have, and many people in other developed countries who are germaphobes and using antibacterial soaps and pasteurizing everything and, you know, sterilizing the hell out of everything. There's, and eating too much sugar, there's definitely an imbalance of bacteria. So it's an intestinal dysbiosis, and I have a video about that too on YouTube. Um... So, um, what was I saying? I was talking about, oh, the fake, but yes, the iron. So iron is very highly toxic as a supplement. You should never take it as a supplement. Um, then it has a whole bunch of other fake vitamins in it that actually mimic the natural vitamins and can cause serious deficiencies and toxicities in your body. Um, I would never recommend those fake vitamins. You can get it from real food, which is, again, why I make, if I make a shake, which shakes aren't always necessary, um, but if I, and they're not meal replacements, let's be clear about that, because some of the Herbalife stuff advertises a meal replacement. No shake, I don't care what's in it, is a meal replacement, okay? Because what is a known fact is that herbal meals do not fill you up the way, they don't fill you up and have the same effect on you as when you eat solid food, okay? So if you try to live off a liquid diet and just drink shakes, then you wouldn't work, okay? So shakes are not a meal replacement, so just understand that. I don't care what it says, you still need to eat food. All right, and food is still the best thing. Now, um, but if I'm going to make a shake, I've talked about this in other videos, this is why I'm so much a pr proponent of raw milk, because raw milk has all the naturally occurring vitamins that Herbalife is um, adding in, all this artificial shit, when raw milk naturally has vitamin A, vitamin D, it has all the healthy fats, saturated fats, like the MCT and CLA fats, which help you to burn fat and are important for your brain. Um, it helps you, and also you need the saturated fat to absorb the fat-soluble vitamins. So you will not absorb vitamins A, D, E, and K, which an easy way to remember the fat-soluble vitamins is that it's the second half of my name, K, E, D, and A, okay? Um, those are the fat-soluble vitamins. You need fat to absorb them. So if you consume skim milk with no fat in it, but then they add vitamin D3, guess what? You don't absorb the vitamin D. And guess what? If you're out in the sun and you're getting sun on your skin, and you're not consuming enough saturated fat, you still won't absorb the vitamin D, okay? And you need cholesterol because vitamin D is a precursor of cholesterol, okay? So you need to consume cholesterol in order for your body to be, even be able to synthesize vitamin D, okay? Another issue with being on a vegan diet, which is for another time. Um, so you need the fat, and Herbalife has no fat. If you look at the nutritional um, panel, zero fat, which a lot of people think is good. That's not good. 
Okay, so that means right there, you're not going to absorb your calcium. It's going to cause a bunch of issues. Also, you need calcium to absorb, I mean, I'm sorry, you need fat to absorb protein, especially saturated fat. So with no fat, you have protein in it, and you have shitty protein like soy protein, um, it's just all kinds of wrong, you know? Fake iron, fake vitamins, canola oil, which is highly inflammatory. Then you have stuff in it like carrageenan. Um, carrageenan is, is, is a serious toxin, and that's also a lot of ice cream. Um, and I do not buy ice cream that has carrageenan in it, and a lot of ice cream has it. Even a lot of ice cream that advertises itself as being healthy ice cream has carrageenan in it. Um, some of the other issues, um, Herbalife often has sucralose in it. And um, sucralose is also, it's, it's, it's cancer-causing. <clears throat> it's, I think it's made from chlorine. Um, it's an artificial sweetener, okay, that's very toxic. All the artificial sweeteners are bad for you. Um, the, and the other issue, um, actually, um, carrageenan is shown to cause our digestive orders and proliferate the growth of cancer and cause that. There's a lot of issues with carrageenan, and you can look that up. Um, soy lecithin, oh, I don't know how to pronounce, like, soy lecithin, I've always have an issue with pronouncing that, but that's also an Herbalife, and that's also, um, highly toxic, and is GMO. Um, and so, let me just look at the nutrition panel again and see if there's anything else that I meant, that I did not get a chance to mention, um, that is wrong. Of course, there's no cholesterol. Oh, no, there's a tiny bit of cholesterol, okay, but there's no saturated fat. And again, cholesterol is a good thing. And so, yeah, I mean, there's artificial flavors in it. Um, artificial flavors, which is another thing that's really bad, okay? So for now, and I, I put a couple articles down below this YouTube video so you can see some other people who also have expressed the same thing that I've expressed about Herbalife. Um, so this is the reason why I say that I have no respect for trainers and people who are healthcare so-called professionals who are recommending Herbalife because they're making money off of it, okay? I am not the kind of trainer that, or nutritionist, who's going to recommend something because I'm making money off of it. I only recommend things because I fully believe it's a good product and know that it is a good product of food, and I can thoroughly break down to you why and why not it is, okay? So what I recommend to healthcare professionals, if you call yourself that, if you call yourself a trainer, which technically, trainers are not supposed to be advising people on nutrition. And when we get certified, that's made clear to us. But most people ask their trainers for nutrition advice, and most trainers give it. But 98% of the trainers that I've been around give awful nutrition advice. I've worked at gyms where the bosses gave awful nutrition advice, and really they give bodybuilding advice, which helps you look like a bodybuilder, but it's not healthy in any shape or form. Okay? And also, to me, not necessary to look good. Okay? But it's not healthy. And I don't recommend things to people that make you look good that will cause cancer and cause brain problems and cause all kinds of health problems. That's not my approach. Okay? But that's most trainers. Most of them don't take the time to really do research, okay? And then, and so for, for you who call yourself a trainer, or you call yourself a healthcare professional, and you find that you're recommending Herbalife and other shitty-ass products like that that you don't even take the time to research, you should be ashamed of yourself, okay? Because if you are responsible for causing some, you know, exacerbating health problems in your clients and or causing health problems in your clients because they're listening to you, that's your fault, okay? So it's your responsibility. We have a serious responsibility as healthcare professionals to do our research. It's constant research. And if you don't know about something, then don't recommend it, okay? This is the reason why I'm not a promotional model because I'm not going to recommend some shit that I don't even know if it's good or I know it's not good. I'm not doing that because somebody's paying me. And you should be ashamed because people talk about doctors all the time, but trainers and nutritionists are just as bad, okay? And I'm ashamed of a lot of my... Um, fellow colleagues in this field, okay? Um, and for the clients, for the people who are following these trainers and health people who, you know, you look up to so much and they're, they're shouting Herbalife, 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 know that they just want your money and they haven't done their research. And you, as a consumer, and you and, and as somebody who, you know, when you're entrusting somebody with your health and you want them to help you get better, I know that we all, you know, you shouldn't have to spend your whole life doing all this research that I'm doing because it's not your field. You know, you do what you do and you come to us for advice and you expect it to be correct. 
But unfortunately, just like doctors, a lot of nutritionists and dietitians and trainers tell people a lot of bullshit. So it's important for you to kind of, you know, pay attention and learn how to read ingredients and analyze things for yourself. Okay, so this is the reason why I started um, a class on Pow How called um, Brookhouse Fitness and Nutrition to really educate people on different fitness, nutrition, myths, scams, and just knowing how to navigate in this world when it comes to both things. Um, it's basically an educational series. I started it earlier in the spring and took a break, but it's about to start up again this week. Um, I'll be recording another video for the class tomorrow. Um, if you want more information, you can email me. My email address is below, mboletta at thebodyscientist.com. And you can also check out my website, thebodyscientist.com. Uh, please join my YouTube page. And also, um, I'm available for one-on-one -on -one consultations with people anywhere in the world. And I'm also a trainer. So if you're ever serious about getting in the gym and you're in a city near me, we can get it on. Okay? So for now, I'm going to leave it at this. And I just want you to know that herbal life is bullshit, and do your research. You can research everything that I've said today and see for yourself, okay? All right, people, so have a great day. This is...